Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. And this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And we can get a sense of the energies and messages for you in October so that you can plan accordingly. So I've already shuffled quite a bit. I'm just going to give it a few more shuffles and we will get started. Alrighty, we have the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So it's, uh, you know, I would say that I would key in here on the action card, which is the Two of Wands, which is taking a looky-loo, a looksy-loo, at what's out there for you and what um, vistas, what goals, where do you want to be? What do you want to achieve? You're really, when you're holding the globe and keeping it nearby, you're, you're thinking about maybe your destination, maybe it's the journey, maybe it's the plan or what you hope to achieve. And we've certainly had a lot of time to think about these things, uh, while we are, uh, social distancing or or keeping to a smaller social set or limiting our time out. We have time to consider, time to um, really um, come up with the picture of how we want to move forward. And so I, I think of this action card, the, the Two of Wands, as something where we're really, you know, we're getting... The wheels are in motion because once we start thinking about things, that's when they begin to manifest, that you're bringing it into your consciousness and you are bringing it into a place where you may consider changes. You may consider, you may be, some of you may be just having such a hard time not being able to travel as freely. And so this could also be expansion and of travel and of, again, ex ex exposing yourself to new cultures or new opportunities or new people. So with this Two of Wands, we have the feminine energy of the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. And the High Priestess is our reminder to pay attention to our intuition, to pay attention to our hunches, that when we have these wild and fabulous dreams, to take note of them, write them in your journal, think about where they're coming from perhaps, and maybe there's no right answer and there's, you know, it's out of the blue, but it's there for a reason. And I always love thinking about the high priestess because it's within all of us, you know, we have access to uh, some would say psychic ability, everyone has that the capability to, to be psychic. When you open your eyes, when you receive messages, when you are opening really, I would say your heart space as well. Let your intuition for this week guide you and perhaps it's going to move you in a different direction. It may move your thinking in a different direction. And that's great. It's um, empowering. With the High Priestess, I know that a few of my friends have a uh, little altar within their home where they just kind of go and they meditate or they pray or they just kind of journal or just sit quietly in space and, and absorb the energies around. And so if that's something this week that could be helpful to you, this is a wonderful reminder from the universe, which is to pay attention to your intuition, to your gut feelings, and to the randomness that seems to happen within our life. You know, these um, conscious and unconscious messages that come to us. And then we have the lovely Queen of Cups who is emotionally uh, with us, compassionate, empathetic, 
listens well, uh, could be a friend within your life uh, or a family member or a loved one who you need to talk to to get things off your chest and who's going to be non-judgmental, someone who's going to be open hearted and helpful to you in whatever you are processing or whatever you're going through. And hopefully we all have someone like that within our life, a queen of cups who really is the master of having balance of positive energy of the flow within life, which is to not get too overly emotional or too angry about things and then not to underrepresent as well. You want to find the sweet spot of how you can, you know, deal with unexpected events that come in and out of your life. But this is a, here's the reminder to be in touch with your subconsciousness, your intuition, your ability to uh, go within. And I also think that the Queen of Cups is also a, a message of going within and honoring your emotions, making sure that you are not uh, shutting them down because that's not helpful. It doesn't, uh, you know, it defers that pain or whatever we may be feeling to another day. So it's a interesting thing when I, when I think of the queen of cups, you know, I used to be the type of person that I would dread going to a movie where I knew I would probably end up crying just because I hated to cry in the theater. And it was just cause my face would be all red and splotchy. And it was like, it would take an hour to look normal. And so I tried to remove myself from those situations and I probably missed a lot of wonderful movies. And for the times that I did go and then was crying my eyes out, it, it's a release, you know, it's a release and it's okay. And instead of me feeling that I had to look a certain way or be a certain way or to be reserved or to be in control, it's okay to let the emotional side come through and to speak to us as well. So interesting cards for the week about um, taking the steps and the actions of, or the decisions maybe that you're going to be thinking about for what's next, what's next for you and doing so perhaps from an emotional standpoint and an intuitive standpoint as well. So let's see what the Oracle card has for us. So this card is right in line with what messages we're getting for the week, which is practical intuition. And what does practical intuition mean? Well, from my perspective, it's, I think it's being aware and thinking about, you know, how your friends say, oh, that's a coincidence. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, there's no such thing as a coincidence or other events that may happen and you maybe you take the time to put the links together how does this fit should i be thinking about these things hmm wonder why that popped in my brain so a practical intuition of uh really being in touch and uh, again taking heed to what your intuition is telling you so my friends, I hope that you found this helpful for the week. I wish you the best. I hope you take care of yourselves, that you find enjoyment um, at this time of the year. And so if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, let me know how you're doing, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.